Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, cats and kittens. Welcome back. And this is gate 5, by the way. Gate 5 is open. Welcome back to Lost Isle. <laughs> Level 4. And that's the one we have to open, gate one. <coughs> there is the compass. And then we can go in here. Okay, that's the that's the other one we can we can push. I thought the red one was the one to push, but it's not. And here, very important. As you noticed, in level four there is no area just immediately around the dungeon or in the beginning of the dungeon where you can recharge uh, your hearts. So this is a great opportunity for you to recharge your hearts. And that brings us back to the beginning. And then, we can use a power rod to lower this force field. And if you stand on the blue tiles here, the blue dork nuts cannot get to you, so this is basically a free room. It's almost uh, like a recharge room or something. And here you have to do this in order to drop the force field. And then we have this little puzzle here. I mean, you saw what I had to do. That was the last one. So instead of going around, you have to actually take the short route, like this. And yeah, I needed like five minutes because I got hit by fireballs. It's so weird, like people take get this all by first try and I just don't. This is so silly. Okay, let's go back. Let's not lose much more time here. So now we have to open this first gate. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I watched the walkthrough video and I already took a minute longer. <laughs> like, like Wolfie. Even the recorded time is already a minute more. I'm glad that those blue whiz ropes got toned down but in health. It's uh, it's much easier to to kill them like this. And this is the buggy room as I name it usually because when you press this switch yeah, the door is open and then it's closed. So you have to do this several times. Okay, well actually I think it's not even bugged. I think there is a timer. So you see the timer going uh, from um, yeah, like from zero, like it's feeling like a cake, like a clock. And you have to get into the door before it reaches full time. So I think it's not bugged, but you have to be very fast. So the first task is now to disable the electricity. Awesome. Mm -hmm. 
All right. So turn the power off here. So now the only way to go is left. <clears throat> Those super fast bats here. Be wary of those. So the switch here has to be put to zero. Yeah, and I'm slowly but surely getting drained by life here, so I hope that I will have soon get a chance to. get um, heart refill or something that would be really sweet okay so the only way to go here is right obviously yeah those are refills but I didn't get lucky. But now I got lucky, thanks for that fairy. <laughs> A stunt dork nut here. Or just an inactive one. And here is, as you can see, this is like a, a factory here to produce enemies with a... Yeah. But now without the power it actually stands still. <clears throat> and then we have to go up the stairs. Through the door on the right. And now we have uh, circumnavigated this one here, where we had to drop down. And here we can drop down. We have to. And the way goes on. I mean, come on, if you don't have a walkthrough, how are you supposed to know all of this? I mean, seriously, it's just... Ugh. Like, all of this... Okay, but well, here it's pretty obvious you can only go one path, but... Even, like, all these junctions before... It's really, really tough to know what you have to do. Come on, mouse, give me something. Yeah, now we have to lower these uh, these stairs. <clears throat> so once again, we have to go around. I could have done that before. <clears throat> Probably. Should have. Yeah, before I climbed the stairs here, I could have just easily done that. So... Yeah, that is an extra lap that I didn't need to take. I could have done that before. And now let's lower that damn gate.
but before we do that, we have to get a key. So, up the ladder here. <laughs> oh my god, really? Ow. And here are 20 arrows on the way there. Yeah, that the key is uh, heavily guarded, as you can see here. Um, a bomb box rock, I think that's what it is. So let's equip the arrows. Yeah, it's a bomb box rock with lit bombs. Thank you, movement bug. But I still got it. So after getting the key, there is one more thing you can do, and uh, I will have to do it right now because I almost don't have any life left, so uh, what I want to do is here pick up a free fairy just on that side. So we have to go down and around the corner here, there is the fairy. And then the only thing you can do is go back in and uh, continue the path. And now the electricity is back on, for whatever reason. But apparently it has to be like that. <laughs> Alright then. So that was not for shutting the gate, that was for getting the key. Because the gate can also be shut down when the electricity is on. Nice. Come on, just let me through. It's okay. Oh, the, it's a... Is that a... Oh, okay. So you have to be fast enough. And that is gate one. Wow. 13 minutes just for one gate. So now on to gate two, I guess. I wish I wouldn't have to kill these, but... Hmm... Yeah, in the end I'll lose a heart instead of gaining one. Yeah. Great. So I'll not rather not take any more risks then. I think I could just reset from here with three hearts. Yeah, would have probably taken less time. <laughs> Maybe this dark nut will give me something. Nope. So now we are in the production here. Now, as you can see, now the the, the band is rolling here. Yeah, I have to. I have to kill these enemies. Yeah, I got a few hearts, but... <laughs> uh... I can still just hope that... Uh... The dark nuts will give me uh, some health, some health, especially the blue ones. Or the wizard ropes here. Yeah, that looks good. Oh, 
Oh, that was a ringleader even. Okay, interesting. Okay, more... I think I didn't get hurt by him, which is okay. That's gay too! Might as well just reset here. <laughs> After the reset of gate 2, because uh, I had less hearts than now. Okay, uh, just had to look what to do next. So I killed... I got a heart from uh, that single enemy that I killed there, so... Go on with ropes, give me something. Okay. Come on, you guys. Alright, so... Tuck, and then immediately have to walk. Well, okay, well, this time it went way faster, the timer. You see, that is why the timer is sometimes just very bugged. <laughs> see that? Yeah, I had to skip it. Yeah, because it's just silly. I mean, why? Okay, now go down here. And then through the warp here. I was hoping for a refill, but instead I got a hard less. So here you have to push the blocks and it looks like MI. One more try, okay? If it doesn't work, I will stop the Let's Play right here. I already spent I don't know how many minutes now, just because of this instant movement that doesn't work. My god, what is the problem here? What is the problem? Honestly. Ow. Just ow, ow, ow. I mean, the eye is obvious. There is not much le else you can do here. So now... This goes out of the way, then this goes down. And this goes here, and this goes right. But, Jesus, please. Next time, just... Why does this have to be instant? Why can't you do a delayed push? Usually blocks are delayed push, so this doesn't happen. This is costing time, okay? Ow. Yeah, you can't imagine. You have no idea how much I hate this place by now. Okay, got a heart here. And of course you have to go down here because it would be too easy to just stay on the top. But, okay, I got a fairy here. Was that an enemy? I don't know. Probably. have enough bombs. Bomb juice. But without the bomb juice it's a little easier to uh, navigate here. And this is a, a really nasty one. Because this is a teleporter. And this is that gives you the hint. Bombs. 
you have to use bombs. And you ha how are you supposed um what it worked but it was supposed to shine yellow I don't know but you have to bomb it and then it turns into a teleporter <laughs> I mean how sick is that It's a little silly, but this is how you get the second key. So now, apparently... We have to shut down the power again. In the same room as we did last time. Can't you just walk into half tile? Isn't that possible? At least I got a heart back from you. Thank you. So now, basically, we are walking the same way as we did last time. I could technically cut this because it's the same. We have to go back into the production room. Oh, I got a heart this time. Thank you. Oh, another heart from you. Nice. Forgive me for always having to look up where I have to go next. Yeah, and this, uh, this doesn't work anymore now. It's been disabled. But now that the gate is open... I don't know, is this refill room actually active? No, it's not. Would have been cool if it had been, but... Yeah, the power is off, so yeah. <laughs> uh, what? I kind of got stuck there in... Oh my god. Really? Anyway. So wait a second. Can I just reset this now? Because if I... Yeah. Now the electricity is back on. Let me get the, the heart refill really quick. Okay, I'm starting to lose my patience, so I'm not even bothering to recharge my life here. I've done a mistake. Shutting down the power was right, but... had to do something first and I was hoping for that for a fairy so actually I didn't do anything wrong you have to drop down here and then you have to lower the stairs like that and that is how you get to the second gate and now, it's possible to recharge life here. Oh well. Okay, I will go back, switch off the power, and then I will meet you when the, stair the stairs are lowered there. So yeah, shutting down the power once again. And just so you know, I mean, I have shown you this path before. But since it's not super long, I might as well just show it again.
down here. And then down here. And then through here and up here. I've gone this path now four times. I should have no issues anymore remembering this. And then up here. And then down here. And now, since these stairs are lowered, I can finally continue here. And here is another one of these switches that you can just push to the left. And now, the entrance to the gate. Uh, there is a force field here, just right here. And that force field is now lowered. Which means we can now go back to the light world, so to speak. So, back in uh, the light area, I just basically, uh, in the when the power is on, I just reset the game. I mean, obviously I saved. And this time I'm risking it. We have four hearts. And in the worst case, there are still potions. But... These darknets here can actually refill my health. And I'm st I'm hoping that one of them will drop me a fairy. Well, actually two hearts, that's fine. So we're at six hearts now. We should be fine. So now we can finally, finally... Lower that third gate. This is a little tedious, to be honest. I mean, having to shut down the power again just to get to this switch and then going back. I mean, ugh. It's like cheese. It's like sticky, you know. It just takes too long. Sorry. So when the third gate is down... Go back. Yeah, we're going down, but I wanted to recharge my health. And it was just our next to gate 2, there is a recharge room, so... Yeah, it makes sense to recharge. And then we can go back to the beginning. Yeah, technically I could have saved and reset, but with that many hearts and the recharge room just next to uh, my location that I w didn't make sense to uh, actually save and then just go the long way. Bunch of blue dork nuts here. I mean, that obviously helps. 20 arrows on top of that. And then we have this warp here. And this warp can only be used once, so make sure that you use it at the right time. Just like the other one I used before. This is another of these mini puzzles. And you need the rod for that. Yeah, it's kind of lenient this time. I, I, I'm surprised that I managed to, to get this on the first try, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, and then you finally get out of this shithole. <laughs> and you can go to... Ah, this is the shortcuts. Very important. That is that is what it's for. It's the shortcut to the uh, to the lab.
That is what it's for. Play Plague Laboratory. I should save this, to be honest. I will. Alright. Oh, okay, I, I gained a few hearts. Maybe they will give me a little bit more hearts. More Fester's Quest boss music right there. So, first. I think they, they, those eyes never drop anything. That's my impression. Ah, oh, yeah, you need the lab key for that. Slimers! Green poisonous slimers. And I don't even think that they actually give something. Oh no, level 3 Goria. Nothing in there. Yeah, I mean, this is... This is mainly for the shortcut. Yeah, and here you cannot go any further. And here, either. So you have to go back. <laughs> That's the only way. God, I hate those things. You know why I'm risking so much? Because I know that there's a heal spot down here. <laughs> That's the only reason why. Alright then. Okay, and then the next thing you can do... It's a little bit tricky. Because you can't really see this right away. I mean, this is... It's not obvious that you have to do this. More Slimers. And I think the door will only open if you have killed all of these. That's how I thought. Oh, but I lost five hearts because I was careless with the slime. Oh shit. Ooh. That was dangerous. Yeah, I see what, what I can do here. I can give myself another safety net here. Yeah, I was hoping for that. Oh, is this also a, a power shutdown? 
So yeah, this is another power shutdown. It's pretty obvious because... Uh, first of all, yeah, you can lower these stairs now, but there is another thing. That was this blue force field again. You'll surely remember that. And that is why we lowered these stairs here, so we can actually take the shortcut and then do this. And <laughs> Link gets stuck again. And then we can turn the power back on, actually. We don't have to leave the place. We can also turn just... We can just turn the, the power back on and then... Oh, that is the wrong door. <laughs> yeah, but this is how it works. It's, uh... I mean, this secret here is okay with, like, power on and off. That is fine. I don't mind this. So now it's pretty obvious what we have to do. I mean, now that the force field has been lowered... Hoping to not lose many more hearts. Uh, oh, come on. Alright. Yeah, the red, the red force fields are back on, but we now have a second way to go. Now that these other stairs are lowered. I don't even have to kill you. I'd have to kill you, though. Because you're annoying me. Okay. Okay, now this is another of these... ...funny puzzles. I think the more damaged it is. Yeah, the more damaged it is. Uh, it's a little weird, but it's okay. Okay, here. We have some ball stock castle floor tiles again. Where you have to be careful to not get hurt by the poison. And then you get the lab key. And this is how you can finally advance. But I think it would be... It would probably be smart to uh, read... Oh, oh no, I, I do have a... There is a way to do that, obviously. Uh, we still have this... Charge room uh, down here. And then all I have to do is basically use the key on that door and then we will get to the uh, to the mini boss. Just be nice to not lose too many hearts before we get there. So 
Now let's use this key in the door. More Slimers, and I think the next door on the south is the entrance to the mini boss. Okay, there is. <laughs> okay, I, th I didn't think it was solid. Silly me. All right then. Uh, okay, we have ten hearts. I have a potion in hand just in case if I need it. All right then. Uh, let's do mini boss. Oh wow. Oh boy. Scanning. Intro roller. Exterminate object. Oh, still not? I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to use a potion here. That's what potions are here for. all the way. Uh, hello! But still, why? Why did it have to push me in there? Oh my god, really? Okay, well... At least the part is just about 45 minutes long so I have been able to kill this mini boss and now we can get to the power rod chip and why does it take so long to for you to read your for, speak your lines come on thank you Yeah. Finally. And that's what we needed the key for, by the way. The first key from the uh, from the bigger place, from the bigger dungeon. All right. Until next time, uh, when we will finish off this place, Chisikovsky.